Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. Now in this video we are going to see how we can use Casio FX 991CW and Casio FX 570CW scientific calculator to do a statistical calculation and distribution. I have a full three and a half hours video for this calculator that covers everything from beginning to end. The link to watch the video is below the video in the description or you can click now to watch it. Now let's see how we can use a statistical calculation uh, with this calculator. First, let's reset our calculator so we have the same settings. Reset, initialize all, yes. And we are on this screen. For a statistical calculation, you can display one column or you can display a column with frequency or you can display two columns, two variables, x and y and frequency. And if you have one column, you will have 160 rows of data. If you have two columns, you will have 80 rows of data. And if you have for 35 rows, you will have three columns. You can have one single or uh, two variables and you can have linear regression, for example, y is equal a plus bx, quadratic regression, logarithmic regression, exponential regression, and exponential ab regression, power regression, inverse regression. Let's go by pressing home and then go to statistics, second one, press OK. And on this screen, let's select two variables. And right now, the uh, frequency, make sure the frequency is off. If not, we press this button, frequency, and then it's off. So all clear. I'm exiting back. And we're going to enter this data here. First, let's enter at x170. And then I'm pressing exe after each value. So we are entering only x. Now 179 and then exe. And then 773 exe. When you reach that, go press arrow to come to the top because it rotates and go to the right. And now we are, we are doing 66 and then equal after that 75, then 68 equal. When we press at this stage, we just press OK to see on, on this screen, select reg, uh, two variable result. And here is the result that you are getting. All the results are here. You can go with the page up, page down to see them one by one. Or if you prefer, you can use up and down keys that you can see all the variables that you need for this calculation. And this was a simple one. Don't worry, I'm going to give you more example. Press home. And now in this case, we are going for a one variable. And here it asks you clear data. Yes, now all the data have been cleared. Now let's turn on the frequency by pressing the tool key and then frequency and then go up and on, press OK and then all clear. So I'll clear it here and EXE is at the bottom. This is like equal. Now let's enter the first column in here. 1 and then ex, exe 2 3 and I enter them now 4 5 6 4 equal 5 equal and then 6 equal now 7 8 9 and then 10 once everything is done then come down and then because it rotates back to 1 go to the right and then let's enter the frequency, 1, 2, 1, and here, 2, 2, 2, and then 3, 4, 2, and then 1. So I've entered all of the information. Just press OK 
you will come to this screen and select one variable result and this is the information that you see again you can go up and down and see it I'm going to bring them one by one do not worry yet it's just an example so you understand it now if you want to you can in here the data or summation and square of summation this is mean this is population standard deviation population variance population standard deviation this was population standard deviation and then number of items in we have minimum of x maximum of x median q1 and here is first quartile Q1 is first quartile and then Q2 is three quartiles. Third quartile, and if you want to return back, just press this button or EC, all clear. Let's press this so we can return back to the data. Now, this is a question that we are using all the information from here to calculate. It says determine the normalized variate when X is equal to and P at T at that point. So we want to find that one so p at t is in terms of distribution refers to the to this value like that so we are on the table if not we are doing it now press ok and you will see this screen and here we select a statistic calc go down and you will see this screen once you see this screen then and here Let's use the first portion, normalize variate when x is equal to. So enter 2. We are using the data from our calculation. Then press catalog. And then statistics. And then normal distribution. Come down. And here we can select T. So the data is fed into T and press OK. And here is the calculation, the calculated result of t and now we want to find the p at t because we get the t so we have to have p on the screen now catalog statistic normal distribution and this time select p and now we want to bring the an uh, the result here we have to press answer answer means this value is here close it and press equal and that is the value when you, did, when you did x of t, that's actually the equation that data minus the mean of the data divided by standard deviation. So everything was done here very quickly when we did it. That was x at that value. Now let's go for statistics of second variable. Press home statistics. This time select second variable and press OK. If you see it says clear data, select yes. And now we have this screen. Now, this time we want to turn off the frequency by pressing the tools, frequency, and then off. And then all clear. We are here on this screen. Now let's enter this information. I, every, every time I press it, I press exe or equal. So 1 equal 1.2, 1.5 and then go to the next column 1.6 1.9 2.1 1 .1, and then 2.4 2.5 2.7 and then 3 I've entered 10 data here let's press and this key down and then go to the right so we are in the Y column now let's enter all this 1 1.1 1 1.3 1 .1 and then go here 1.3 1 1.4 1 1.5 1 and then 2.5 1.7 1 1.8 and then 2 oh, 1 1.8 and then 2 now we have all the data now uh, when you press oh, 
press OK and then select Rec Result and then select Y is equal A plus BX. So you will see the data, something like this, if you just want to read it. You can press Return or All Clear AC to return. Let's return back to the data and now press OK and then select the regression result and this time select quadratic and here is a quadratic result. To return back to the editor, let's press this return or AC. Now we are on this screen. So let's do some more calculation. OK and this time select a statistical calculation. So and here we can do statistical calculation of linear regression. Now you should see this on the screen. Then press catalog and then summation statistics and then summation. When you do that you can see all the summations anything any any of these you want you can just click select and press OK. It, it comes here. On this screen we can press EXE to view it or if you want to go you just press arrow and let's say you want to do it something a more calculation you can do that. You can also save them in variable for example E of X into A. So first let's bring it by pressing this catalog, statistics, summation and then X when press equal sign now we can press this variable memory variable and then select which one you want we want a and it says store press ok and it has been stored let's uh, sum of squared of uh, values into b so press statistics summation and then select this variable and then EXE. This is very important to press EXE so that the information is here. Now press this variable, go to B and then store and it has been stored. Now to see it, press variable and you will see our values are there. Now if you want to get the mean, here press this statistics. You can see the means And if I press OK, this is the mean of value and you see it on the screen. This is example 4 where it says determine the coefficient, the coefficient A and B and the correlation coefficient R for this linear uh, regression. To return to the editor, we press this until you see it. So now to get it, press OK and statistical calculation and then select A plus B. Now we are in linear regression and now we can press catalog, statistics and then regression and in here we can see them or view them whichever we want. Let's say for A, press it. If I press A, that's the value. We can press this button again to come back to the editor. And let's go statistical calculation. So we can press this button, statistics, regression, and the same way we can see B. And the same way we can see R if you want, let's say plus statistics, regression, and re correlation coefficient. So if you want to do something with it. Now to display two variables, press this tool in here, this tool, and then two variables. D this is the two variable result. Now press all clear, we are in this screen, and click here, statistics, regression and these are all the values for that.
Now, if you want to see the quadratic regression, select this and then select regression type. And from here, we can select different regression. You will see it here on the screen. Now, let's do some distribu distribution calculation from the statistics. Determine the estimated value of y, y hat, when x is equal 5.5, .5, and the regression equation resulted from the data. So press this, so we can come to the data, press OK. And here, statistic calculation and select linear we are in this screen let's put 5.5 .5 catalog statistics and then go to regression and here we can see y hat and press ok or exe you will see the result something like that and and to delete all the data that you have now uh, to go back to the editor, press this until you see the editor. Now you can delete data. Here, press the tool, edit, delete all. Everything has been deleted. Here are the equations that were used in our calculation. All of them are available here. Now let's see how we can use the distribution feature of this calculator. For distribution, we can have uh, probability, binomial probability will be displayed like that. Binomial cumulative probability will be displayed like that. Normal probability dis density will be displayed like that. No normal cumulative probability, so CD. And then normal inverse cumulative, you will see it as inverse normal. Poisson probability and then Poisson cumulative probability will be displayed on the screen like this. Now the question says calculate binomial cumulative probability for x data, this is the data 2, 3, 4, when n number of trials are 5 and probability of the success is 0 0.5. So let's go to distribution, press home, go to distribution, press OK. And here, binomial cumulative, select binomial CD. And from here, select list. And you will see it like this. Now, let's enter our data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2, and I'm pressing 2, and then equal 3, 4, and 5. Once you're done, press OK. You will see this screen. Now it asks for n, I'm pressing OK and changing it to 5 and then pressing EXE. Now for row equals 0 0.5, press OK, 0 0.5 and then OK and then execute. I'm pressing execute and here is the result. All the value have been calculated for us for each value of x. Now another question to calculate different n and p just press exe and here you can select 6 ok and then 0 0.3 for example and here is the result based on the changed value. To, to change the x for example press ac it, it has been deleted and then we can go here and enter for example 5, 9 or so shown. To insert a row for example in here, press the tool, edit and insert row. From here you can also delete it. When I press insert row, you can see here the value is 0, so I can en uh, enter something new like 9. But if you want to delete it, press this edit, delete all, everything will be deleted. Now let's say calculating normal probability density with all these values. The population mean is mu and then population standard deviation. 
a sigma here and so let's go again select and then distribution and select normal PD and here now let's enter this is 36 X is 36 press OK and enter 36 and press OK and then mean is 35 and then for this enter 2 OK and you will see execute and we found the population probability density here now to change the value to another value just press AC we will come back here and enter for example 40 and then 21 or whatever you want you get the result let's turn it on button that's for the first time I turned it on so what can you do with this calculator with this calculator you can do all basic calculation so you can do statistical calculation you can do distribution we can do uh, polynomials such as quadratic cubic and quartic up to degree 4 calculation simultaneous equation